नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते कुमार भैया नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन जी जी नमस्ते नमस्ते एवरीवन सो वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग एक्सरसाइज 1 एंड इन एक्सरसाइज 1 वी स्टार्टेड डिस्कसिंग स्टेप 2 जी सो इन एक्सरसाइज 1 वी आर डिस्कसिंग स्टेप 2 नाउ एक्सरसाइज 1 इज अबाउट ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ बाय द सेल एंड दैट इज टू से observing the consciousness by the consciousness so in step 1 we try to observe the imagination as it is without evaluating it without judging it without reacting to it without modifying it or imposing something from our side or trying to fix any goal in it just observe as it is the real self that you are and we said that while observing the imagination it may be the case that you are not able to observe the complete imagination then you can start by uh, <coughs> start by observing the object of imagination and then look at the thought associated with it look at the per, look at the feeling associated with it and we also discuss some of the issues that we generally face while observing the imagination main time we should try to observe through the body So we may get headache at times. Sometimes it appears blank, and we feel that there is no imagination, or we are not able to distinguish between desire, thought, and expectation. So many things could be there. So at a personal level, we have to observe. We have to make out the issues that we face, and we have to get resolved, right? And you could see that step one is simple and very important. Sometimes it becomes difficult also for us because we are not. due to observing the things naturally we start reacting so sometimes it becomes difficult for us also so that's how we spent a lot of time there discussing the pertinent issues and trying to clarify the things to ourselves so once we are able to observe the imagination as it is without reacting to it without judging it then we can go further to evaluate it and that is something which we are discussing in step 2 so in step 2 what we are saying is that you try to find out whether your feeling is naturally acceptable to you or not and that is to say is it in accordance with human nature that is to say do i want the continuity of it so by all means we are trying to evaluate now in step 1 we did not evaluate because if i start evaluating at step 1 it may be the case that in place of evaluating i am analyzing it further or i am reacting to it based on some assumptions right so step 1 does take some time for each one of us because many times we are not able to do it so we have to keep on doing step 1 whenever you go to observe first observe without evaluating without reacting right and then when you are able to see that yes i am able to see the actual state of the imagination now then you can further evaluate so find out whether it is naturally acceptable to you or not with that we took the assignment yesterday let me read it out and then we can discuss we can take reflections here so try to be aware of your imagination particularly the feeling in the imagination at every moment and then evaluate the feeling that you have at any moment is it naturally acceptable for you do you want to continue with the feeling or do you want to come out of the feeling in this manner we need to evaluate the feeling every moment and note down our observations nice then do we have anything to ask or anything to share i would particularly request participants from batch 10 so we can see that there are many participants from batch 10 who are attending the sessions regularly but they are not able to get in response from them anyone from batch 10 who has any question yeah or any such reflection you can share here ji if we do not have any observation or any reflection here then what we can do we can observe for 10 minutes practice exercise one step one first and then we'll go to step two so in your observation try to be aware of your 
imagination, particularly the feeling part. And try to see. Try to see now how long it takes to observe your feeling. Or you are still your thoughts. Or still your attention goes outside. He is joining for the first time. Nice. So we'll observe for 10 minutes. We'll do this assignment right now. And then we'll discuss. In the next 10 minutes, I'm not going to take any question. We're just going to observe calmly. And particularly when we are doing these steps and observing, what you may also plan to do if time permits, try to sit by yourself and then observe without getting involved in any chores or any other such activity so that you are able to pay proper attention here. And we had also mentioned that we have to keep on doing this exercise every four hours consistently, right? So let us observe for 10 minutes and then we'll discuss further. Nice. Nice. You can share reflections or ask any question if there. So we are trying to find out where the feeling that is there in me at this moment. Is it acceptable to me naturally or not? In this process, I get aware of the feeling. I get aware of even my natural acceptance. And I'm able to verify my feeling on the basis of my natural acceptance. So, and step two, while verifying, you see that you get more and more aware of your natural acceptance. And there's a difference between natural acceptance and acceptance. Acceptance is something that we have come to assume with our given experiences. Natural acceptance may be something different. Isn't it? So for example, if you have freedom of position for someone, so you can see that there is some feeling which is for a position. And then you can ask yourself whether it is acceptable to me naturally or not. And you can simply see that this is not acceptable naturally. Many times we have feeling of opposition or we have feeling of fear. And it may appear to us also that it is not something acceptable to me naturally, but still we keep on justifying it to ourselves or still we try to you know, continue with it. So it means that we have heard that the feeling of opposition is not acceptable to me naturally or the feeling of fear is not acceptable to me naturally. But I have not been able to see it within me. If I can see it, then I can also try to resolve it. So it may be the case also that we have heard so many words that a position is not acceptable to me naturally, relationship is acceptable to me naturally. And it is just level, it is just there at the level of thought. We have not come to verify to ourselves. We have not come to see our natural acceptance also. It could be the case. So in step two, it's not only that you are able to verify on the basis of your natural acceptance. You are also able to be more and more aware of your natural acceptance. Okay. And once you start seeing your natural acceptance, you get some assurance also from inside that this very potential is there in me on the basis of which I can decide what is right, what is wrong, or what is you know, uh, to be continued and what is not to be continued. So this is something that you can make out by yourself. Ji, namaste, bhaiya. Ji, namaste, bhaiya. Namaste to all the followers. Um, bhaiya, I am able to see that I am having feeling of a position. Uh, sometimes I, or I'll I'll say most of the time because uh, because na, matlab, uh, more often I see that I observe uh, um, that uh, the opinion uh, or thought uh, being expressed by him uh, is not uh, matlab, is not right. That's why by I whom? by any of uh, matlab, by some person about uh, her or about him, I am talking about. And uh, when I do see, actually, I am, uh, matlab, 
I'm not. I don't feel myself competent enough to make a program for a, uh, मतलब to uh to to express that uh okay this is not the thing this is like uh, the this is the thing and uh, actually uh, it often um, I often express myself as as means मैं rude हो जाती हूँ मुझे ऐसा लगता है जब कोई चीज़ ना मेरे एक whenever I feel something which is against my uh, principles or whatever uh, or which do I feel uh, deep at my heart that it is right uh as per my understanding and uh, someone questions that then uh, my expression uh, means my tone becomes somewhat harsh and i feel it later you know that i matlab uh, uh, i became somewhat rude in my telling but uh, i am not able to help myself at this level i am trying to work out for this also but how to work out for you is somewhat fine see uh now that you are able to see that you are free of opposition right mm-hmm. you are trying to resolve yourself but unless you go through these steps unless you try to find out whether it is acceptable to you naturally or not and if not then what is naturally acceptable you are not able to resolve yourself so first of all be aware of the feeling and now that you are able to say that yes i am aware i can see that there is opposition inside yeah Then find out whether it is acceptable to you naturally or not. Then you are able Absolutely. to see that this is not acceptable naturally, and then you can go further. If it is not acceptable to me naturally, then what is acceptable? This is something to be explored. See, if you hold on to something which you consider valuable, so you will see that within yourself you are conditioned to think <clears throat> that in these situations I have to hold on to this feeling of position. I have to hold on to reaction. Boy, yeah, I have I'll... to hold on to yeah. Okay, I'll I'll uh, uh, tell you the exact situation. Actually, uh, my PhD is uh, still going on, and uh, many people say that I am on the right, wrong path because my uh, I am from ECE domain, electronics and communication engineering domain, and my research is on respiratory, I mean, uh, monitoring of respiratory system uh, of human body, right? So since it is a biomedical domain and I don't have any idea of that biomedical, and whenever I uh, explored the papers, I I came uh, through means uh, machine learning and uh, uh, artificial intelligence, intelligence kind of so many of things uh, which I was not able to grasp. So first of all, I enrolled in many of the workshops and explored uh, machine learning, Python, uh, artificial intelligence kind of things, and after then also. i found myself difficulty in uh, grasping the basics of respiratory um, system so i explored that also through uh, an nptel course in this uh, uh, in this semester and uh, thankfully i qualified for that uh, uh, but i was getting uh, i was i matlab i am getting the idea that uh, you are wasting your time but as per me the means i am on the right track and at that moment i feel a kind of apology matlab mere andar se hua tha ki nahi theek hai main papers nahi likh pa rahi hu i am investing myself at some another place you all of you know whether i am investing for this life one year so but at least i mean now yeah ki for me a direction is much more important than a speed so at least this is giving me a right direction to think in the uh, uh, correct way to explore the things uh, and uh, at this moment i am trying to write a review paper i know that i am taking so much time so this was the thing uh, where i felt a position and i uh, i answered in abruptly and in fact she is my co guide because she was telling that i am uh, i am being escorted at five she is doing so much courses and i told at least uh, look this is the region this was the thing okay. ji see here first of all try to find out <clears throat> the purpose for going for phd the purpose for choosing that topic the purpose of conducting research in that domain try to look into those aspects also yeah bhaiya i i i have that internet of medical uh, medical things me mujhe usko implement karna hai because in the rural areas no, uh, not going uh, to those details and 
Oh. So try to find out for yourself. Look into the feeling. Feeling yeah, with which you. Wait, wait, wait. Feeling with which you are working for PhD. Feeling with which you chose the topic. Feeling with which you are working in that domain. You know, try to find it out. And mm -hmm. once you are clear about this, then you can also map your current state. So whether you are able to do it, the skill may or may not be enough. The competence may or may not be enough. So then you are also able to map your current level of competence or skill and to your goal. And then you can decide mm -hmm. for yourself and then share it with the other person also, maybe your guide, that you know, I find this more relevant, more important, if so. If not, then you can share that also. And for that, I have to develop my skill. And then you can also decide that I will take this much of time. And you can share with the other. Mm -hmm. In place of reacting to people, you can see why they are uh, yeah. sharing such thoughts or feeling with you. And what is the solution here? It's nice to take mm -hmm. difficult topics. That is fine. There is no problem as such with that. But we have to look into the purpose. Whether the purpose is related to social well-being or is it yes. related to... No, no, wait, wait. Find it out. Or is it related <laughs> to doing something special you know, for something in return, maybe name or fame or something. So all those things you have to be clear about. Hmm. And while working also, if somebody is guiding you, then are you able to accept the guidance by the other or somewhat a wrong evaluation is taking place on your part? Because those things may also be offending to the other. Yes, 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 yes. If you have chosen yes. some guy, that, that, that is the main thing. thing. Yeah, that is the main thing. Actually, my co-guide is from Antena domain, and I started from the Antena for IoT, and but I am from the instrumentation domain, and I am very big at the Antena design, and I'm not. Uh, I'm not I don't see myself. Yes. Sorry, 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 sorry. So you talk to your co-guide and explain your feeling to the other. And listen also to what he or she has to say. Okay. Mm -hmm. So get into dialogue. Share your yes. enough feeling, share your stand and listen to them also. If you are choosing somebody yeah. as a guide and you are not accepting the guidance, so the other will feel that you are under evaluating him or her. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I, you could I, have made the, no, no, wait. So while choosing the guide also, no, you could have taken proper care. For example, you are doing some research on physics and you are taking some guidance from somebody from biology then the other person may not be able to help you so you have opted mm -hmm. for the guide so you take you know, proper guidance from him or her or before opting for the guide you could have made the prudent decision so look into all those aspects yes okay. yes and get in dialogue whenever there yes. is some problem with the other get into dialogue try to explain yeah. yourself and wait wait in place of justifying your stand, try to listen to the other. Try to see the feeling of the other. So many times we are too much worried about justifying ourselves. This is something that we keep on doing at a personal level also. Even if the feeling is not right, I try to justify it by some means or the other. Even if the thought is of contradiction, I try to justify it. Because we try to assume that somewhat you know, I am right. So let it be a little loose. Don't try mm. to fix something for yourself. Don't try to assume for yourself that I am right. No. Mm. In place of proving myself that I am right, I need to know what is right. Mm. And I may be wrong. Okay? Yes. I may be wrong yes. on multiple counts. Yes. 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 So many times, no, like the way you share also, it appears as if you are trying to prove or justify yourself. Uh, so that is not required mm -hmm. so it may appear to you that I am wrong on so many counts it may be somewhat yes, depressing for you at times yeah it may be somewhat depressing for you also at times but if you unless you accept it that this is my current state I have to work from here you will keep on struggling with the same issues for a long time that is something common to everyone so what we try to do we find some fault in oneself maybe within oneself and then we are not able to accept it, right? We find it very difficult to accept. So we try to justify it. And we may spend years together justifying and then reacting to the other. Justifying mm. within one second, reacting to the other. 
but if you just start accepting it as it is and then try to make out what is acceptable to you naturally then you may be able to transform this is conditioning this is a deeper mm. issue this is where people get stuck in place of keeping it open mm. right we try to justify our condition justify our assumptions and we get conditioned this is a common mm-hmm. problem and that's how the preconditioning become deep yes because yes. we de- decide some stand and we justify it somehow or the other otherwise we feel that the other will dominate over me or i will have to mend my ways in so many ways right and i find it difficult so at some point of time you have to keep it completely open you may decide it today or tomorrow or 10 years hence but at some point of time you will have to keep it completely open then only you can explore otherwise you are not exploring you are justifying <clears throat> you are finding something mm-hmm. and justifying finding something and justifying that will not help and that's how we mm-hmm. become so sometimes very aggressive in our uh, expression or sometimes we become very reactive in our relationships mm-hmm. yes we are yes this is the thing i have to accept i literally you told um, my conditions are very deep very deep i have to come out from that thank you i have to keep yeah. it open that okay. is feeling you that observe it first conditionings are there at the level of feeling mm, no but that is analytical kind of means at this time i am talking about analytical kind of uh, conditionings i'll explore it here i'll explore it okay thank you Nice. Uh, namaste bhaiya uh, namaste. i just wanted to share something uh, from my side because uh, uh, i had joined uh, uh, the morning sessions uh, back but uh, in between because of some uh, nac and college works i couldn't join the morning sessions uh, now uh, in this um, june end or july first week we are going to organize fdp in our institute Upi Jindal University, Raigad. Very nice. Very uh, we have nice. team of three faculties uh, who have received uh, means uh, UHV two certificates, and uh, on that basis, we are planning to organize uh, one FDP in uh, recent uh, now coming days. My wife has completed uh, UHV two recently last week, and uh, because of uh, her also, we are togetherly joining these sessions now. and uh, uh, for the didi who was doing uh, sharing her uh, observations right now i wanted to just uh, in one line i wanted to just uh, uh, say her that uh, uh, that uh, just observe didi your objective points of phd whatever the objective points of your phd 1 2 3 whatever your objectives just try to serve those objectives do no need to learn ai and uh, ml and all these things completely just try to serve uh, your objective points uh, and uh, fulfill those points only that is enough for your phd didi no need to get tension and worried and uh, thank you bhaiya uh, we will we togetherly now we will be joining morning sessions and we'll explore the things uh, in uh, in better way bhaiya thank you bhaiya for your guidance nice nice bhaiya So there is yeah, a good possibility at Upi Jindal University, Raigad. So try to develop a team there. There is another yes, lady yeah. faculty who has been joining. I am not remembering her name. So I think uh, Anuja. That is my wife. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice. Huh. Huh. And uh, actually, we both have completed PhD from IIT Kanpur, and uh, I think we have uh, attended your one session uh, in uh, uh, the SMS uh, SMS uh, faculty was there. Uh, through him we had attended your session there in physical mode uh, okay, nice. I remember. anyway fine fine bhaiya so nice bhaiya work it out is a good possibility keep exploring thank you bhaiya i sent you one uh, director at uh, op jindal university gurgaon so they are also planning to take it forward in gurgaon so maybe your whole group can become active at op jindal so that would yes, be a good yes. possibility Yes, but we we need your guidance uh, uh, in in between. But we'll be continuing attending these sessions. So I hope uh, uh, I'll be in connect with you. Please. Nice, nice, Bhaiya. Thank you, Bhaiya. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste, everyone. 
So how yeah. I want to ask you that um, whether this feeling, heart feeling, whenever you feel sometimes hurt, uh, then uh, it is not naturally accept acceptable, right, Bhaiya? Yes. Okay. Then we have to uh, check what? Means we have to uh, check the competence of ourselves and competence of others in making, um, in evaluating this uh, feeling. At this stage, you first start for evaluation of yourself. So you have some feeling inside, you observe it, and then evaluate whether it is acceptable to you naturally or not. At this stage, at this step two, we are saying only this thing. As you go further, we see how to you know, develop our competence. But in step two, what we are saying, just find out whether it is acceptable to you naturally or not. Now, Bhaiya, say you are doing, uh, you are much more responsible and sensible to some relationships. Uh, and out, out of your busy schedule, you are making time and effort for that. But uh, when uh, sometimes we are in need, need, then we feel that those persons uh, whom you have so much caring, they are not doing the same thing towards you. Then uh, obviously this is a hard feeling and this is acceptable. But at the same time, I can feel that this is <clears throat> not naturally acceptable. But at that time, how to um, observe myself and come out of that situation? You can always observe yourself. Maybe you are not able to come out. You can always observe yourself. Now you'll see that even when we are doing something for the other, if you are doing only at the level of physical facility or body, it will not be sufficient for the other because we are not working to develop the right feeling in the other, right understanding in the other. So in such relationships, when we just try to fulfill through physical facility, and it mm -hmm. will not be fulfilling. It will not be fulfilling even in the short run or to talk of the long run. We have to work at the level of feeling. We have to work at the level of right understanding. So in all your relationships, you can be assured that unless I start working for right understanding in the other, the relationship is not going to be fulfilling. There will be some problem or the other. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? So you may feel from your side that I am doing enough, but you are not doing enough. Because the right understanding part, the right feeling part is still due. You are not working for it. Okay, bhaiya. Okay, B. Okay, thank you. Nice, Didi. Good morning, sir. I am from Royal College of Engineering and Technology. I'm an assistant professor there, Kerala. You should Kerala, sir. My doubt is that uh, sometimes we have to deal with some situations uh, where we feel uh, it's not uh, naturally acceptable, but sometimes due to societal pressure, we may, may, we may have to stick around. So uh, some hard feelings crop up. But uh, we may, uh, you know, we may think, okay, let it go. We'll uh, go with the trend and all that. But afterwards, this, what we feel is something uh, not okay within our minds. So uh, maybe, maybe to, you know, due to feel pressure, we may uh, stick around such situations. But later, we may uh, feel it's not right and uh, hard feelings go up, sir. So how, would, how to deal with that situation, sir? Yes. So we are able to see that the natural acceptance of everyone is pure. The competence may be lacking. And with so many people around me with lack of competence and maybe also including me, we develop some norms. And when we are living together, we have to go by other decisions. We have to go by norms. So we are able to see the basic problem there. That since the right understanding has not been developed, so we have to go by certain norms which are not acceptable to us naturally. So for time being, if relationship requires it, I may fulfill it. But at the same time, I've been clear within me why I'm doing it. And as time permits, I will try to clarify to the other also. And it's not that everyone is going to get transformed at the same time. So we'll start from those who are able to pay attention to my proposals, who are able to understand me. And if my participation is not required, and then I also say that let me be out of this because even if I do not participate, the whole thing will not suffer. 
you get it now okay. there could be certain occasions when you can simply say no for example if it is something to do with unethical conduct i can simply say no that i am not going to participate as simple as this for example if people are drinking on the occasion and you are asked to drink you may simply say no i will not go for that okay because you know. so we yes, have sir. to make out our participation so i may do it with a feeling of compassion for the other with a feeling of relationship for the other but i will not be doing anything which will deter their understanding if i also i give a very good example of drinking if i also drink with them and next time i'm going to share the right proposal with them then they will not pay attention so i have to participate in such a way that tomorrow when they have to take my guidance and you know, they are able to take for developing the right understanding okay sir thank you sir nice today so many participants from batch 10 are asking questions nice so there are no more reflection we are can we go to the content part ji so in step 2 <clears throat> of exercise 1 we are evaluating the feeling so i am evaluating the feeling the thought that i have at this moment and i am trying to find out is this feeling naturally acceptable to me or not is it natural for me or not is it in accordance with human nature or not would i like the continuity of this feeling or not so i can decide for myself in so many ways and that is because maybe just by asking one question we are not able to get the right answer so when i ask myself whether it is acceptable to me naturally i may assume the natural acceptance to be the same as acceptance and i may justify it so i can ask it the other way do i want the continuity it could also be the case that sometimes you feel that yes this is naturally acceptable but i don't want the continuity this could also be there and that essentially means that you are not able to observe the natural acceptance Okay. If you do not want the continuity, how can it be naturally acceptable? Like the example that was shared right now, so we can find it out. So, for example, observe and evaluate when you have the feeling of affection and when you have the feeling of opposition. What happens? So, be aware of the feeling at this moment. When you have the feeling of affection, then you see that it is acceptable to you naturally. You want the continuity of it, right? but when you have the feeling of opposition you want to come out of it you do not want the continuity because it is not acceptable to you naturally in affection also you may be required to distinguish between the feeling of affection the thought of affection and the expression of affection for example you have the feeling of affection for your child so you are feeding the child right but you not like to continue feeding the child you want to feed the child for some time and then let it complete it's not that you are going to <clears throat> force feed the child now when the child is saying that i don't want to eat so at the level of feeling it may continue right but at the level of expression it is not continuous so i will stop feeding the child then i help the child do other activities okay my thought will be guided by the naturally acceptable feeling only so at the level of feeling i want continuity but not at the level of expression so be aware of the feeling at this moment <clears throat> just observe the feeling as it is and simply evaluate it without any reaction so make no effort to hold on to or stop any particular feeling any thought just be aware observe the feeling as it is and evaluate it without any reaction so do the steps 1 and 2 throughout the day every moment so again see that at the core is step 1 right if you are able to accomplish step 1 well then step 2 will follow but if you try to mix up then you may start struggling with your thoughts you may start analyzing your imagination that will not help we yeah, can we go to the next slide so we can take some examples in fact multiple examples did come up when we were having that discussion 
you are being cheated by someone and you are thinking of taking revenge for two hours and at the end of it you drop the idea right so it may be that in some relationship you are being cheated right and it is not acceptable to you naturally of course but you start thinking of taking revenge and you may think of doing this you know for hours together and finally you say that oh if i do so many things i am also going to be in problems so why do you do it now just find out during these two hours did you have a feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition were you comfortable within or uncomfortable within so you can see that you had feeling of opposition and it is this feeling which is not acceptable to you naturally it is with this you know it is this which makes you uncomfortable now try to get into that situation try to get into that situation at the personal level somebody cheating upon you in some relationship in some business transaction right how do you feel you can respond the chat box somebody is cheating with you how do you feel you can respond the chat box either in some relationship or in some business transaction or in your day to day activities how do you feel a position feel uncomfortable and disappointed feel bad feel a position i'll keep away from him uncomfortable disturbed hurt and disappointed lack of understanding uncomfortable i don't want to keep relationship any further uncomfortable disturbed nice then what happens you find out that somebody is cheating upon you then what happens now you start thinking about it you may also think about taking revenge from the other isn't it when you feel opposed then what will you do you will try to teach a lesson to the other you will try to take revenge from the other whatsoever and you may be doing this for hours together right and finally you come to the conclusion that let it be and he will get a lesson by himself in his life why should i spoil my life in all this if i take revenge it will have some repercussion and tomorrow i may have to go through some penal you know procedures and then i will be in trouble right so you may keep on thinking like this and if you just observe your life it just this is just one typical example i get some thought about the other i feel opposed and then i keep on churning the same kind of thought for the other for hours together for days together right now we miss out the very fact that i basically want to be happy and happiness is to be in harmony and with the other person also i want mutual happiness right with the other person also i want to make a program which can develop the right understanding right feeling in the other so you can see that you had the feeling of opposition and it is this feeling which is not acceptable to you naturally and this is making one comfortable so try to relate this to the actual situations of your life right we are interacting in so many relationships and there are so many counts on which uh we feel bad about the other right we feel hurt about the other and then it may be quite disturbing to us isn't it even if a child is not telling you the truth right the child is telling a lie or the child is cheating upon you you feel so bad about it right and then if you are not clear of the natural acceptance of the child then you may feel opposed to the child also you may feel like taking some kind of you know or teaching at least a lesson to the child 
or things like this may happen. And these are some common situations. This is just one typical example. You can extend it to other scenarios also. Being cheated is just one scenario. And you are not expressing your feeling to the other, but you are just going round and round in your thoughts with the same feeling of opposition. This may happen for days together. right? And during that whole period, you are disturbed, you are uncomfortable, you are unhappy, you are anxious. right? You want to come out of the situation, but you are not able to come out. Particularly, you'll see that if you try to spend a day with yourself, there is nothing to interact with. No magazines, no newspapers, no other person. You just have to be with yourself and you get some thought like this. And this is enough to make you restless. This is enough to make you anxious. Isn't it? Now, there is a person who has been very helpful to you and you are thinking about doing good something good for him. So find out during this period, you had a feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition. Were you comfortable within or uncomfortable within? So you can see that you had the feeling of relationship and it is this feeling which is naturally acceptable to you. It is this which makes you comfortable within. But there is a word of caution here again that it may be the case that somebody has been very helpful to you and while thinking about that person, you start over-evaluating. So initially you feel grateful to the other because the other person has been helpful to you. This gratitude is naturally acceptable to you. But if you not, you should not evaluate the act of the other rightly. So it may be the case that you start over-evaluating the other. <clears throat> and then you again become uncomfortable. So you see that in our relationships, we keep on getting you know, such ups and downs in our imagination, in our thoughts, in our feelings. So if somebody is good to me, I over-evaluate. If somebody is bad to me, I under-evaluate. And the person who has been bad to me has not been bad forever. Sometimes he has been good for me also. But I simply miss out if somebody has done something good for me in the past. Because today he is doing something wrong to me. And feel completely opposed. I am not able to rightly evaluate the other. Because a particular situation has triggered so much opposition in me that I simply become restless. I start thinking of taking revenge from the other. In a similar manner, some person might have done something bad for you, but today now that person has turned good for you, you start over-evaluating, just missing out the lack of competence in the other. And then when you go to make a program with the other, with this over-evaluation, you can feel cheated because the competence is lacking. <laughs> so you'll see that we may also be fluctuating between these two situations. When I feel bad about the other, I start taking you know, feeling, re feeling uh, revengeful to the other and I spend hours together uh, taking revenge. If I feel something good for the other, I may over-evaluate. And then again, I in problems because my evaluation is not right. And you can see that this kind of fluctuation in our imagination will be over, under, otherwise evaluation keeps on taking place. Now, there is some person for you who has been doing good for you, but you are not noting it. For example, your mother has been cooking for you every day serving to you every day. He has been doing so many things. But you are just caught up in your thoughts about your spouse or your you know, uh, subordinates or your boss or your business. So you are doing otherwise evaluation for the mother. You are not even counting her presence in the family. You take it for granted. Or somebody is coming and cleaning your house every day. Some maid or some servant. And you, know, you are doing your work comfortably because the other person is doing so much for you. But you are simply not counting the other. So you'll see that in our imagination, we keep on fluctuating between such wrong evaluations over under otherwise evaluations. G. I have a question here. Like if someone is cheating me and I feel that I am being exploited and I have a choice to leave. So is it okay to leave or should I stay and do something to improve the relationship? Now it depends, like <laughs> cheating could be on various grounds. So what kind of it is? It, it is, is a type for of example. professional, yeah, it's professional. Yeah. 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 Now, 
whether I have to leave or I have to continue, you know, uh, that is something subjective. That will depend on the situation. But I'll of course have trust about the other, that the other intention is fine. The competence is lacking, and the competence is lacking beyond an extent. So I can see this, and then I'll try to get in dialogue with the other. If it works, well and good. If the other is ready to accept my proposals and verify, well and good. If not, then I'll decide some measure for this so that the other person, I can draw the attention of the other person to the right understanding. My purpose is not to leave the relationship or come out of the relationship. My purpose is to develop the right understanding in the other. So I will decide my program with this clarity of purpose. Now you'll see that the more clarity I get about relationship, I always have the feeling of relationship for the other. And I chalk out programs which help the other develop to the state of right understanding. So leaving or not leaving is not the issue. What is my feeling? Is it to compliment the other or is it to simply discard the other? Not to compliment the other, I can you know, keep some distance from the other or I can also get in dialogue if time permits. So I can decide all these measures. But the basic feeling is of complementarity. That is something that I have got to ensure. Thank you, Bhia. Nice, Didi. So look into all these issues. These are some typical examples. But the more you explore, you will get so many examples from your own life. Isn't it? In relationships in particular, you may not have the right feeling. And you may feel disturbed at times in your professional life, in your family life, in your extended relationships, <clears throat> right? And you may be spending hours and days nurturing some feelings which is not acceptable to you naturally. And not able to evaluate also whether this is acceptable to you naturally or not. So we can conclude the English session now and then. Thank you, Kumar Bhia, for this enriching session today. Thank you all the first callers for your questions and sharing and your active participation in the English morning session.